Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Virgo, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple. Guys, thank you so much for supporting me. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, please. We're going to pull individual energy first for Scorpio. And then I'll pull individual energy or we'll read Virgo. All right, and then we'll take a look at you guys together. All right, all right, all right, all right, Scorpio. What's going on in this relationship with Virgo? I'm a little surprised at what I see here. I am. Oh, Scorpio 2 came out. Mm, I'm not taking them. I want to shuffle. Hold on. I know this is a small deck, and I'm doing the same sign, right, Scorpio? And then even though the earth signs are changing, the stories have variations, but they're they're a little different. Something of with messages coming up for Scorpio. Hold on. Messages the Scorpio should ignore coming up. Give me more for Scorpio, please. Give me more. Let me put this together. Mm, I guess that was meant to come out. The key card. Reverse. All right. And then we have Cavalier. All right. Scorpio, let's take a look and see what's going on. Now, like I was telling you guys with Scorpio, there's something with birds bringing messages of cheer. You guys are going to hear some messages that you probably won't like. I feel like this card fell kind of close. You guys are being advised to remain without fear. I feel like there's been something going on that you've become accustomed to learning to deal with it. The cards are saying remain without fear and woes will be brief when the birds disappear. You guys, there, you guys, I, See, the thing is, it's like, how can I explain this? Woes are going to be brief when these birds disappear. I believe the birds are disappearing. I feel like people are going to, you're going to hear some things that you don't like. But I feel like you're going to hear gossip, but it may not be as brief as you hope, right? This suggests that whenever... The birds disappear. That's when the gossip disappears or something like that. But there's these messages you're going to get that you don't like or something that you hear. And like I said in my other read, you already know you got these quacks talking, right? These uh, seagulls, they out talking and say whatever they want to say. You don't care. Let it go. You don't care what them chicks are saying. Do you, Scorpio? Really? These are birds. Right? So everything they're saying is going to be debunked and they're going to look stupid. Key card. I was saying in another read, right? Inspiration unlocks the door. Solutions are the key to success and more. Miracles and insight. Hold on, what's that? Oh, pulling up on my screen. Miracles and insight are easy to trace once the final piece rumbles into place. Something's going to rumble, all right? I feel like something is going to take some time and it's going to be, uh, it's almost like how, if you're destroying uh, the cement in the driveway, you know, it all cracks up. Get the, then they got to put the new stuff down. Everything is going to be fumbled up and crumbled. It's going to look crazy, but everything is going to be okay. You guys are going to have some solutions. Something having to do with the key. The final piece to something is something having to do with the house, your heart, and the key. So there's some final piece of something coming out that folks are gossiping about. I feel like the information is going to clear some things up and it's going to stop people from talking. I feel like those responsible will be revealed. Let's see what this one is. So for Scorpio, it says, heed well, good news from the Cavalier. Impassioned views promise good cheer. Sadness that hides veil in the day, once disguised soon flies away. So something is disappearing. Something that was veiled is going to fly away. Sadness is hiding. So somebody's hiding some sort of sadness over something, Scorpio. I don't know if this is you. These do make sense. It looks like gossip is going to go away. Something's going to be revealed about a house and a key. However, there's something about good news. There's going to be something that has, you're going to be very happy about something, but I feel like other people are not necessarily going to be happy for you, but they're veiled. They're hiding how they really feel. These people don't want you to be happy or whatever this is about, right? So once disguise, once the mask comes off, you're going to know exactly who's who. It's just said differently, all right? So heed well, good news from the Cavalier. Impassioned views promise good cheer. Sadness that hides veiled in the day. 
once disguised soon flies away so it was disguised yep all right give me virgo in this relationship please with scorpio virgo what's going on with you virgo hey hmm news popping up lady the charming woman with flowers in hand as with gentlemen her cards will command the fortunes revealed once the cards have been placed unveil the fate that destiny traced let's take a look and see what's going on with the oh something fell i ain't taking it but uh something with the lady all right give me one more they're saying that once you lay the cards your fate will be determined what's going on with virgo's fate please virgo's fate somebody i don't know give me one more let me not let me not make assumptions hold on <clears throat> oh okay vile is a serpent who lulls with a bite be not indulgent or slow to the fight. So you guys probably need to stand up and talk up. Do not overindulge and don't be slow to the fight, right? So see what the situation is and start taking this snake down head on. I think when you cut snakes, don't they grow their heads back immediately or something? Flee every moment as she turns on the charm. This poised opponent will bring you harm you guys are being advised that there's a lady who's trying to get in your way this is part of your destiny you guys are going to deal with a snake a vile serpent who's trying to take something it looks like give me one more please for virgo uh, yeah i'm gonna see oh so, listen house comes out reversed this poised opponent will bring you harm somebody's gotta now we do see something about harm coming these reads are suggested that somebody's looking stalking right um but it's also something about a house. Somebody trying to cause physical violence. I keep getting that. A stately house beyond the gate bestows stability upon your fate. Ooh, that word fate again. In love and play, your chance to win depends on how you first begin. Well, the house comes out reverse. So you begin with a stolen house. So there is a lady who's a snake and there's a house. Is either something wrong with the vibe of the house or the house is stolen. There's a key that Scorpio is missing. There's a house that Virgo is missing. Or Virgo, something happened with a house. Either this is you, Virgo. Somebody may have stolen a house. Maybe there was a lady that took a house from you. Or a lady that turned your house upside down. This lady could be gossiping about Scorpio. This lady is a snake who tried to take somebody's key to their house. There's something having to do with a house, but there's good news coming for Scorpio about a house that was stolen. Look at that. Or something going on in a the house. There's definitely something in the house. All right. I believe this house is stolen. It is consistent. It keeps coming up. So I'm going to put these over here for Scorpio. And then I'm going to put these over here for Virgo. So Virgo stole, <laughs> Virgo stole a house. Something with Virgo in a stolen house. I don't know if somebody stole a house from you, but there's a snake in there. So I don't know if the snake is you or if the snake is the real estate lady, the friend. Whoever this is, she's a charming woman who brings flowers, as with gentlemen. Somebody went to a reader. This lady said, uh, yep, once the cards are pulled, some of you guys could have went to a reader and found out something about a house, possibly. Let me just see what this bottom one is. A stork in flight promises delight. There's a stork in flight who's going to give you some bad news. Ground your strength in all that is pure. When troubles surround, weakness may come. Problems that abound, you must overcome. There's a tower moment coming up for somebody. Somebody's facing jail. Oh, wait. Yep. I ain't mean for that. Yeah, somebody could be facing jail, but this one was the one I was looking at. A stork in flight promises delight. A stork in range signals change. A stork in range signals change. This card came out reverse. Somebody's going to get some bad news about it. Unwanted change. After that, we have the tower card. And then somebody's finding it difficult to get over a mountain. It's just somebody cut something. Somebody's trying to... This is about physical violence too. It keeps... It's a theme. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Scorpio, we know people are gossiping. We know that. We see that there's a key or something. Somebody tried to do something to take a key to your heart, key to your house. We also see that there's some good news coming in. And we see that there are going to be some folks in the background who are upset about that good news coming in for you, right? Now, Scorpio, Ten of Pentacles comes up for you guys. This is wealth. Go ahead, y'all, right? 
This is a family inheritance. You guys may have inherited something from a family member. It does talk about a friend or a family member who may have left you something. This is about long-term potential where you could be entering a relationship. Some of you guys could be buying more property or buying property. Some of you guys are going to be building a family. And the cards also suggest that the Scorpio in this read is traditional. They have traditional vibes. There's something about dividends. So Scorpio, you could be getting some shared dividends or something like that. Or you're getting shared dividends on an inheritance or something, right? Great news. And there's something about a friend or a relative who may have left this for you. I also see where there's some kind of confusion that comes in for you. So you guys have this Ten of Pentacles, right? Where you, it looks like money-wise, you guys are going to be okay. If you have not received this inheritance just yet, it looks like you are going to be okay. But it does have some issues with it. We have the Ace of Swords. It comes up. I feel like you guys have a lot of stress. I feel like there are people trying to put blocks in for you. And it does also show somebody made a poor judgment. Poor judgment could have been made by Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could have been made by Scorpio. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody made a poor decision, right? So there's some kind of confusion caused by Virgo, or it could be a, an air sign where there's some confusion and in, in, in indecision. There's something about miscommunication here. You guys, Scorpio, you're being asked to ask for clarity. Ask as many questions as you need to ask. And if they start squinching or screeching or whatever, when you ask, you know they're hiding something. There's a need for you guys to continue to ask questions. Some of you guys feel defeated. You feel unheard. Some of you guys, there is a need to have open confrontation about what this is because you are not getting your answers. The cards are saying that you need to get this information or you need to tell somebody something because failure can loom if you don't get the answers or devise a plan to something that you need to get done, right? So unfortunately, there may be some folk that you don't want to talk to, but you may have to Ask the hard questions. You may have to put your foot down on them next to get the information that you need to avoid a possible failure loom. Possible, meaning it can be diffused. All right, so come up with a plan. Scorpio, we also see here along with this, and that's what the Ace of Swords is. You know you're missing some information. You know somebody lied to you. You know there's miscommunication. So the King of Swords steps up. I want the truth. And you ask for it assertively. This could also be a romantic partner that walks in for you, or this could be you, Scorpio. You could be a father figure, right? It shows here that if this is a new love, right? So some of you guys, Scorpio, you could have a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini after you, or this could be a new Virgo who's coming on too strong to you. It's saying that this relationship fizzled out fast, or it has the potential to fizzle out fast. If this is about work, Scorpio, you guys are being advised to speed up productivity. So you may have had a talk about that with your boss or you need to change your course of action. Some of you guys might have some uh, productivity matters at the job or something like that. Something with numbers, something with the relationship fizzling out. I get false start. The cards are saying, Scorpio, that you're going to have to defend yourself in some kind of way against a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini because they have some questions for you. Could be the legal system where you have to answer some stuff. I don't know. Let me pass. All right. So we see that coming out. There's some kind of news coming. You're going to get news where it's going to require you to defend yourself in some way. You may have to change everything up, whatever that's about. Virgo, let's take a look at you. We have the Five of Cups that shows up. Now, keep in mind, Scorpio's at the Ten of Pentacles. So, Scorpio's pretty happy here. With the exception of the confusion and the other stuff, right? Where they require and need more information and they know it so they can avoid possible failure in something. They're coming up with a plan. So, we have Virgo over here who's sitting sad. Virgo's sad in grief. Virgo's mourning. Imagine their heads bent in sorrow, heartbreak, loss. They're separated. There's physical distance, meaning they're not together. All right? There's some sort of distance here. So finally, Virgo is like, I'm sad about this. I'm acknowledging some sort of sadness. I'm overwhelmed. In this relationship, I am overwhelmed that we broke up. 
The cards are saying that Virgo has been advised to take a break from love before reconnecting with love. So this suggests that this could be an old relationship or this could be a time after you've healed from the last relationship. It says here that a romantic partner, relationship, or close friendship has ended for you and you've become emotionally distant. This could be sexless, loss of intimacy, right? Virgo, the cards are saying that you need to accept that Scorpio is gone. Or Scorpio, you may need to accept the fact that Virgo is gone. Take it how it resonates, whatever this is. Scorpios usually don't go back. We ain't really a second chance type of... Because we give you we give you enough time while you're there. And if you, you F it up, it's like it's a lost investment. Cut your losses, walk away. You cry. You eat. You'd be alright. You'd be back at the gym before you know it. So Scorpio probably did something to walk away. But in any case, we see that there's emotional distance here and a need for Virgo to accept that Scorpio is gone. Take it how it resonates. We also see here. Now, again, I don't know if it's a possibility that Virgo may need to walk away from another Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Whatever that take again, take it how it resonates. It may not be this Virgo here. These may be other water signs that they dealt with because we see that Virgo needs to take a break after some sort of a breakup or something like that. Now with the six of wands, we see something about a power couple, right? There's this enthusiasm for a power couple, passion, intensity. This is victory after sadness for this Virgo. So some of you guys could be connecting with a Scorpio. This might be new for you, right? Maybe you dated a Scorpio in the past. Maybe you were married to a Scorpio in the past. And now you have a new one. That's what it looks like. Or you guys could be after a bad relationship with a Scorpio. Some of you guys could be connecting with the Aries Leo Sagittarius. I don't know if this story is before you guys met or this is after whatever. I don't know. Anyway, this is victory after sadness. Now, some of you guys, you get this long awaited award after heartbreak. Or this could simply be the end of a dispute with legal matters. Some of you guys... It's the end of a dispute and you have to, you know, wait to be sentenced or wait to be told you're not guilty or something like that, right? So the end of a dispute, legal matters. But this is also, again, pointing to something with work issues. Some of you guys could be a work couple, all right? You know, that work wife, work husband or however it goes for you. Possibility. I feel like you guys might have worked together before because we have the Scorpio saying you need to speed up productivity or somebody's telling Scorpio, you need to speed up productivity. But then there's Virgo over here, right? And they're having some legal issues, delayed legal issues, delayed work issues, delays to resolve with work issues. We have the Eight of Cups that comes up reversed for Virgo. It speaks more about this job. It speaks about a relationship that you guys have, right? So I feel like for some of you guys, there's some sort of heartbreak. I feel like you might get into another relationship or this is a new Scorpio or new. This is a new Scorpio compared to maybe an old water sign. But we have the Eight of Cups. Some of you guys stayed in a job too long, stayed in this relationship too long or a relationship too long. It even says you may have stayed in a situation too long, meaning you didn't do something for so long and maybe it got out of hand. But finally for Scorpio, maybe it's the end of a dispute, but it says it for Virgo. There's an end of a dispute here, but Scorpio's trying to figure something out, feeling defeated, end of a dispute. Maybe Scorpio lost something because I do see a house being taken here, whatever this is about. So there's some kind of legal matters that Virgo, you're going to have to answer to. You're going to have to answer to something having to do with a house, a key, malicious gossip, taxes, missing limbs. You got to answer for that stuff. The eclipse is here. It all comes out. Get ready. A relationship or job or situation you've stayed in for too long and there's fear of change. The cards are saying now is the time to walk, Virgo. And I think that's what you did. The cards say that you, Virgo, walked away from a very good relationship here with the Scorpio. That's what it's looking like. It looks like you are satisfied. It looks like 
You could have been a power couple of some sort, but it wasn't good enough for you. You wanted more or something like that. Then you ran into some legal issues. I feel like this is after you felt sad about this relationship that you separated from. You are now met with regret. It says you abandoned a good relationship later only to regret it. I regret making that decision. I regret what I did to Scorpio. I regret what I did to Scorpio 1, 2, and 3. I regret what I did to Aries, Leo, Sag. Virgo got some regrets about somebody you walked away from. But we also have here, right, we have the King of Swords, Scorpio being assertive, Scorpio coming into a romantic partner who's coming on too strong. That could be you, Virgo, or it could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini coming on too strong for Scorpio after a breakup or whatever happened here, right? Because possible failure looms. I feel like Scorpio's having some conversations with an air sign and... It looks like it's going to be some confrontation, meaning some words said, I need answers because you lying about something. But for Virgo here, the relationship or job not feeling satisfied, Scorpio having to defend themselves, lack of maturity. Virgo, you handled something immaturely. Or Virgo could feel like Scorpio handled something immaturely, right? But remember, Scorpio's is Scorpio's in King of Swords energy. So really, this kind of points to Virgo a little bit with the Eight of Cups reversed. Walking away from something, abandoning a relationship that was good only to regret it later and be sad about it. Common energy for you guys, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is patience. This is growth. This is you planning. This is you contemplating. This is some of you guys, not everybody, doing something daily to enhance your spiritual growth, right? This is about self-care, that spiritual growth brings some of you guys possibility you could be working more on your homes and your finances you're being advised not to deviate from your plans are you guys going to stay together i think this is a breakup scorpio there's something here with your job drama with a boss or a co-worker a need to defend yourself you guys could be arguing like i said with the libra aquarius gemini uh boss or um or co-worker, they're going to ask you to shift course, whatever that means. You either speed up productivity or you shift your course of action. Scorpio, you may be getting an ultimatum, whatever that is, at work, something like that. I don't know. All right. Let's take a look and see what happens with love with this couple. I'm still, I see that there's regret. I see one is sitting with some money and one is sitting in sadness and mourning. So Scorpio, it says here that you've come across some kind of wealth. This is your family inheritance. This is your long-term potential, which you're happy with. It actually looks like Scorpio is coming into another partner or Scorpio has some realization. Like I need to clear up my stuff and all these loose ends, get them tied up, clear it up before I fail at something, before I lose something. So Scorpio speeds up their productivity. It also suggests somebody's coming out too strong. Virgo could have came out too strong for a Scorpio. I don't know. But I will tell you this. Virgo ends up having a change of heart. They're like, I am so sorry I did that. Oh, my goodness. Especially when you see Scorpio sitting in the Ten of Pentacles while you sad. Could have been a power couple or you were a power couple. Some of these people be power couples. And then you always got one to let the devil take over and be like, oh. I could be this big without you. And you can. I'm sure you can. I'm not saying. I'm not. Listen, I'm not impugning anybody's goals. But sometimes in relationships that I see with power couples is you always have. Uh, you, you got one that always. Not always. But you got one that always starts to smell themselves. Like, oh, I'm the great I am without you. And then they get out there and they cheat. And the person who stayed the empress or the emperor ends up with another love. That really loves them. And then they're going to sit over in the sidelines from the bleachers mad. Don't get mad. You made the decision. You were sad. You ain't want that, right? Your mourning, heartbreak, loss, this and that, right? Emotional distance. This suggests that Virgo was the one who started the f and walked away, right? All right? And then you said you wanted to find somebody that matches your enthusiasm. So that confused Scorpio. There was confusion when you did that. So you did it. Right? 
And Scorpio was like, all right, not a problem. I'm the king of swords now, right? I'm seeking a romantic partner who is assertive, who is truth, who's not going to lie. And it turned out not to be you, Virgo. So you really can't get mad about that. You made your choice, right? I'm finding that people have to make their beds now and they ain't liking what they chose. And that ain't my F to give. It's not. You You did that. So you can't get mad later on when somebody start getting bread. Then you want <laughs> then you want to come back. Sit down. Stay in your regrets. That's just me talking garbage. Now listen. Um, again, this is not every Scorpio Virgo couple. All right. So check out my playlist, Scorpio and Virgo. Virgo actually has their own playlist, I believe, too. Yeah. Virgo relationships. I don't know if I ever did that one, but it's definitely under Scorpio Virgo. But I think I do have, I don't know. Anyway, show me love for this couple, please. Show me love for this couple. Somebody may have moved out the house. Now, we do have the Seven of Pentacles that shows up as a common energy. Growth and patience. Both these people are still going. I feel like both you guys are trying to acquire money in different ways. Scorpio may get some money through inheritance. The other one might get some money through hustling, right? We do have a stolen house. Both are waiting for their finances to grow. The cards are saying that your money is going to grow. The investments will grow. Investments in myself, shared dividends will come, but it will be with delay. Meanwhile, focus on your spiritual growth. Focus on managing the finances that are tangible right now. Do not deviate from your plan. That's what you're being advised. I feel like both you guys have different... One... I don't know it looks like one inherits something and the other one is hustling and being a snake or there's something here with another lady i could see that i could see that because remember virgo walked away from one relationship and then they went to find their pot of gold and then i got i think they got hit with the okie dope and now they cheat the eight of cups reversed you abandoned a perfectly fine relationship and you regretted it and now if you look at the tone between Scorpio and Virgo at this stage, Scorpio's like, listen, I ain't messing with you. Why would I do that? All right, strategic thought. Scorpio's like, strategically, I'm going to take a look at this. I ain't messing with you, right? All right, this suggests, because if you had the King of Swords reverse, it would suggest that Scorpio is a corrupt person. They are not. They are not. This person is not corrupt. This is the King of Swords. So they're upright. This is an upstanding citizen. Who you try to confuse. Give me more, please. We see engagement. Your love life is ascending to another level of commitment. Scorpio, I don't know if this is telling the story of a Virgo who walked out of a relationship because of heartbreak and loss, but it also looks like them being overwhelmed by a breakup. So they may have, it may have taken them a long time to get over something. Then they walk into this power couple thing, right? With intensity. After sadness, it says. After the end of a dispute, after a legal issue, it mentions delayed contracts and also work issues, right? Scorpio feels defeated. Virgo says, I stayed in a relationship. I stayed in a job too long. Now I'm having a change of heart. I think Virgo may have left and now they want to go back. They abandoned a relationship. And they regret making certain decisions. So, ooh, child, that's a messy one. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Give me more. Reconciliation. I don't know if I want to get back together with this person. Mm, I feel like this is about getting back together. Uh, Scorpio looking like they ain't having it. Give me more. Romantic feelings. There are no romantic feelings. Let me see something, because I feel like that's Scorpio. Give me uh, give me another row, please. I feel like that's Scorpio. Give me another row for this other one over here. Attraction. This Virgo is not even attracted. It says, you need, it says you're not attracted. And it also says with the Five of Cups, there's some kind of sadness, overwhelmed. Romance, a close friendship, emotionally distant, loss of intimacy. So there's no sex, obviously no attraction. Codependency. I'm not even trying to depend on you for nothing. Trying to walk away. I don't want to be connected to you. This was Virgo's 
thoughts initially. Give me more. And now Scorpio's like, I don't have any romantic feelings for you. I don't want to reconcile with you. I feel like this could have been a couple that were once engaged. Give me one more, please. Keep an open mind. So Virgo is like, I'm not, I can't keep an open mind about this. I feel like this Virgo may have, I think that you guys may have tried to date different people, even, you know, like different people, you know, like different ethnicity, different interests, whatever. And I don't feel like it worked for you. And I feel like you guys found out when you went out into them streets or whatever. There wasn't nothing out there. I'm not saying there's nothing out there. Maybe it was nothing out there for you. So you decided, oh boy, that grass I was looking for, that green grass, that extra bright green grass, like that grass color you ain't never seen other than pictures in heaven. Like, you know how they say heaven got different colors? They said that the colors are very enhanced. Colors that we have never even seen before on earth. That's how beautiful and bright and magnetic and I can't even explain it. Don't ask me how I know. Anyway, give me common energy between these guys here. Scorpios does not want to get together. You guys may have been engaged or on the verge of it. Virgo decided to take a trip elsewhere, and Virgo got hit with the okie doke. Calling in your soulmate. Both you guys are calling in your soulmates. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You guys are calling in soulmates. I just don't believe it is each other. I think for Virgo, Virgo may be longing to be with the Scorpio after they went out and played in the streets or whatever and came home with fleas, and now Scorpio's like, I don't want you. Scorpio's calling in their soulmate, but I don't believe the soulmate Scorpio's calling in is Virgo from back when. I don't believe that. I mean, it could be for some of y'all, but that ain't what I see here. Give me a conversation, please. What does um, Scorpio have to say to Virgo? Scorpio, give me Scorpio, please. Let me shuffle these up real quick. Because these is... Uh... I'm shuffling. I'm down here, y'all. Let me shuffle. All right, let's go. What we got? Scorpio, what do you have to say to Virgo, please? You make me feel things. I don't like how I feel. You make you don't make me feel. You don't move me at all. You don't make me feel nothing. Give me more, please. Scorpio, what do you have to say to Virgo, please? I need time. So you don't make me feel anything, and I need time. I'm thinking Scorpio ain't really um, checking for Virgo like that. Give me more, please. Scorpio, what do you have to say to Virgo, please? I feel so confused. I am not confused. I need time. I'm not confused about nothing, and you ain't going to make me feel confused. We ain't reconciling. You can take your ring and shove it up wherever. With this engagement ring. And I ain't got no romantic feelings for you. Virgo, what do you have to say to Scorpio? Hold on. Ooh, child. Now, this did pop out. I don't know if you're the one. I'm going to take it because it came out first, number one. It's relative. It's, I'm not going to keep this, but the next one is you're perfect. I think after Virgo went out, you know, and played their hand in the streets came home with fleas or whatever they had right fleas diseases whatever was going on <laughs> it could have been your scorpio you know scorpios be dirty dogging or whatever they be doing but what else comes up virgo what do you have to say to scorpio please virgo what do you have to say to scorpio you complete me so along their travels in between mattresses Back alleys and back seats. Virgo decides, you complete me. And Scorpio's like, listen, I need time. You just said you ain't know if I was the one. And I turned my feelings off for you. You don't make me feel anything. Scorpio's, listen, I'm trying to tell you, when you screw us over, we some, we're not cold, right? Nobody in the, in the immediate environment is going to feel that heat but you. We just, you don't matter. Once you do stuff like that. We take it for what it is. We live with it. You might cry a few times, but when we're done with it, we're done with it. We don't, I know, I don't, I don't, I don't harbor you. Like, you got to bring stuff up to me. You do what you do, right? I hear about it. I'm like, all right, I mind my business. I do my thing. 
See, but when you don't react to people, I, I see that they like to keep throwing stuff in your face or keep presenting themselves. Or, How come you don't give a what? Because I don't and you ain't going to make me. The only thing I give a what about is you coming up in my face with your f- shit, right? That's what I care about. So that's what you won't be doing. So you could do all your sleeping and all this other stuff. You could do that. I don't care what you do. I ain't with these people, right? That's my thinking. I ain't with you. So why would I care who you bed? Like, I don't care. But these are the types of folks that like to, won't you care? Because I don't. Like, this life is too short. Ain't nothing some coffee ain't going to fix. Eventually. I'm good. You look like you ain't, though. Virgo, what else do you have to say to Scorpio, please? What else do you have to say to Scorpio? All right, let's see. I can't be with you right now. I feel confused. I don't feel confused. And then Virgo's like, I can't be with you right now. You can plead me, but I can't be with you right now, right? So... If you have a Scorpio and a King of Swords energy, right, and this person screwed you over, Virgo, and then they still come back with, I don't know if you're the one, then they're like, you complete me, and then they're like, I can't be with you right now. See, that's what Scorpio's looking at, that inconsistency, that you still don't know what you want. And Scorpio to Scorpios, this is a, a time waster. Like, we want, we're not going to deal with you, so we just ain't. Because you don't know what you want. Scorpios are very steadfast people. We know exactly what we want. We know when we go into a studio, right, exactly what we're looking for. Like, to me, this is my studio. I know exactly what I want to do. And I don't have time for your variations and disruptions and all this nonsense to impact what it is I'm trying to do. So Scorpios are looking for a... Like this King of Swords energy, right? Somebody who's assertive. They know what they want. They're truth-seeking. They're a good partner, right? They, they probe. They look. They're not irresponsible. They ain't in and out with the energy. You know. Give me the common energy between these two, please. Common energy between these two. Past life. Yeah, this is probably some past relationship. Or you guys dealt with each other in the past life. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Maybe I'll be back tonight on my other channel. I don't know yet. If I get one of them thingies, I will. Where I'm like, oh my goodness, people need to know that. Usually those I push, put on the other channel. I don't think they fully blocked the other channel yet, but they will. Because you know, that's how these people do when they're chasing you. Government, while I'm here, let me just ask you. Government. I'm still trying to figure out, maybe you have an answer for me, government, United States government. Can you tell me why out of all the tarot readers, right? Why are you letting them come after me? Why? You, you know they came after me, but why? You got an answer? I'm waiting for y'all to tell me what the results are here. Because this is as obvious as it is. so obvious you can't even deny it. Like, you can't. Y'all can't even deny what they did to my channel. I know you think this is a joke. It's funny, right? I know there's going to be some resolve to it. Like, I know that. I know that things are being worked out in the background. I know that. I feel that. I don't think this is something that is just being wiped or masked away. It is. They're masking it, definitely. They're doing that whole government crap. But I know that it's being worked on. And, I, you know, I can tell by the tone of things. I'm very intuitive. I know what I know. So I'm not worried about it. I just... I would just like you guys to please say something like I've sent, I've sent letters to Boston. I've sent letters to every website and you can't, I have all the receipts saying that I reached out to these people, told them what was going on, made it public online. So nobody can ever say that I don't exist. I never said anything. I create, I don't, don't want to say I create, I have a platform where even when I'm not able to speak, there are others who are telling their truths and these stories are consistent. If you take a look at the people that they're targeting, very talented people, they're guitar players, they have, they don't look at life like everybody else does, right? They've been made to feel so uncomfortable and feel like black sheeps that 
we had no choice but to be kicked out of our apartments, kicked out the house, living in cars. A lot of these people are homeless. You guys need to take some responsibility and really wonder why. I would take a look at the banking accounts and see where they're skimming the money because it's obvious who they're targeting, right? And you guys know this. So we're just waiting. We're waiting. I, I, we're waiting to see what you're going to do. So, I mean, we know what we're going to do. We're going to keep going over here. But government, the loud, it's going to get louder. This argument and what's being done here is only going to get louder. So I think we both need to work, to, all of us need to work together to resolve this issue. Criminals stealing out of banking accounts, cults and covens, the YouTube deal that's not offered through YouTube, it's offered through YouTube employees. That's the deal. We're going to shave some views off and make sure you get to pocket this money, politicians. I'm going to call you out on it. I don't care who you are. I already told you. Janetta Beasley to Oprah Winfrey. I don't give a... I don't. Y'all are crooked. You know what's going on. But you're also some caught motherfuckers. <laughs> I think it's funny how you all ducking and dodging cameras. Shame to go into the church. Can't look at the church members because you shame. Ain't that right, Oprah and them? All the celebrities, if they find out how y'all really getting your money, changing stock symbols and stuff, Janetta and them, deals, selling people, tell me I'm a lie. Tell me I'm a lie. So government, if you could kindly give us an update on this probe, you know, you got people uh, with uh, retaliation for tweets. How you going to retaliate on a tweet? That's true. If it wasn't true. How you going to pay me back for something that you said and you did and it's documented? Really think about that. This is the type of, this is why you have great people dropping out of the workforce. You have smart people dropping. We only want to teach your kids because y'all's garbage. You discourage people from the workforce. You discourage this place from being productive, people from being productive. You know what you're doing and that's why you're losing people. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's a big world. You can go work anywhere. I'm sure there are other countries that are more than willing and happy to have some folks who've been rejected come over there, especially when they bring your money into the game. You need to give people a reason to support you. You can't just show up when it's election time and start talking some fu That's not how it goes. Every single day on my platform, I make sure I focus on stories that matter. I focus a lot on the black community because we are in need and we have some issues over here that need to be resolved. Now, when you go into the root of these issues with the black community, you'll start to see that you got these old mother, okay, that are responsible for this. So all this blaming the other groups and all this other, you need to target in on them people that be showing up, right, at election time, or they show up when somebody, uh, when you get somebody that gets shot in the streets and they're black and the story's big enough, that's when they show up. See, I show up every day. There's lots of us that show up every day. You will not listen. So you will continue to suffer the same consequences until you fix the problem, right? What are the problems? There's the killing in the streets. There is being robbed by banks, being robbed by the people, all right? People cannot afford to live. People, whenever you got the Dollar Tree closing up, you got some serious issues, all right? Your citizens... And I'm speaking specifically to America because this is where I live, right? If the Dollar Tree closes, you know there are some issues, right? The people can't afford to eat. They can't afford to live. I am here on the ground. I'm not just on a suburban ground, okay? I'm in the hood and I'm telling you, people don't have money to live. These are the same people that get up and go to work every single day. No matter how much they work, they can't afford a, a house outside the hood. Because even living in the hood, you got banks, you got YouTube, you got politicians, you got deals skimming the accounts. And you know it. And I'm going to call you out on it. And one thing about me, I see everything. I have vision like you ain't never seen before. So I will continue to call you out on your... And I will continue to tell people that they need to be very mindful of who they vote for. All right. Sometimes hell with what you say when you show up every couple of years because it's an election. What do you think that looks like? Huh? You, yeah, you listen, you better check my page. I do this every day. You do it whenever you need a vote. 
So y'all need to be cleaning stuff up around here. That's all I'm saying. And it's just going to get louder. So I would hope the government, in terms of this issue, never mind the voting, in terms of this issue that this community, this spiritual community is having, in terms of being targeted, persecuted, I've written to you guys about it. And I'm still waiting for an answer, sir. Nothing. Y'all better fix this stuff or ain't nobody voting. Because people are believing that votes don't matter anyway. So this is a tone that you don't you don't want out there. You won't address it, yet you won't do anything about it. You want the people to shut up. I'm not going to shut up. You either work with me or you can work against me. People that have worked against me, they already saw what happened to them. That's because I stand along with my people on the end of what is good. We are light people. We don't do dark. We don't do magic. When people do magic, I know there are some people that do, uh, I guess, white magic. I, I don't do any of that stuff. So those, I, I don't know what that is, but I know it ain't black magic. I'd rather have somebody gonna throw something at me. I'd rather it be the light magic, right? That's all I'm saying. So you just need to get it together. You really do. Because you, first of all, you folks and your budgets have messed up. And this is long ago. This is our parents. Them people are the most irresponsible. I never see nothing. You guys are the most irresponsible group of people I've ever seen in my life. You're entitled. You feel like the kids, oh, you owe me because, because I'm your parent. Well, you've been doing dirty stuff the whole time. So technically, I don't owe you. You had me. You owe me. You owe me a better life. You owe me not to use my name and social security number and be selling it. That's what you owe me. I ain't asked to come here. Think about it, right? So you got all, and then you, on top of that, y'all got all these problems with illegal adoptions and switching babies. Don't make me go there. You fix it. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.